What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, the Holiday Cup Great League Edition is finally here. This is honestly one of my favorite metas from Go Battle League, and it has been a great cup to participate in year in and year out. Why? There's a lot of wide variety of cool Pokemon that you guys can use with a mix of meta Pokemon that are also very strong. You're only allowed to use Electric, Flying, Ghost, Grass, Ice, and Normal, but it can be dual typing. So for example, we have the Goat Alolan Marowak, which is Ghost Fire, and Ghost is allowed. All right, getting into game one here. We have Credilly on the lead versus Trevenant. Not a good matchup. We're gonna go ahead and safe swap into the Alolan Marowak as Fire Spin is doing super effective damage, and they decide to bring in a Wall Rain. Now, obviously the Alolan Marowak versus Trevenant matchup is very dicey, but it forces them to swap out and come in. Now, they decided to throw Ice School Spin early not build up to the earthquake which I was allowed to let go and you guys know me we always go for booms with the lowland Marowak boom one shot to the wall rain they were not expecting that absolutely beautiful and Noctowl is now going to come in. So this game is not over yet, but thankfully Credilly, one of my favorite Pokemon for this cup because of its moveset, um, bulkiness, and everything, can do well against Noctowl because of that Stone Edge. It is going to be doing a lot of super effective damage, and since we successfully flipped the mid-game matchup there against Walrein, we can have Charizard aligned to Trevenant. So we do get a shield right there with the Stone Edge. I'm not going for shield baits right here. I'm just going to put down a lot of pressure because I know it's going to be up to Charizard really to close this game out so long as he has shield advantage now they decide to swap out in the trevenant so we're going to go ahead and come in with that charizard and look to just go for i think i'm just going to decide to go for double dragon claws right here we do shield the shadow ball as well which is very nice but yeah in this situation we just go for dragon claws and they decide to surrender Good game. All right, moving to the next one. We got Credilly versus Obstagoon. Another tough lead. And yes, I will be coming in with Alolan Marowak right here because I'm Shadow with Fire Spin and Night Slash doesn't one shot. So if they decide to stay in, fine by me. I get to distance Credilly here from Obstagoon and Night Slash. I can survive the first one. Now, they decide to come in with Dub Wool right here, which is very interesting because Body Slam is going to be resisted, which means they have to throw Wild Charge or Payback. And I'm going for Fire Blast anyways. Boom! one shots the dub wall this is this is why i love the goat it is so deadly and i'm telling you guys i space it out here and there right you guys see in a lowland marowak video maybe once a rotation maybe once every couple of rotations because i don't want everyone to get um cons uh, consistent with seeing me and knowing that it's going to be fire blast but tell you what 11 times out of 10 i'm throwing the fire blast at you so you better be shielding so we do have charizard now versus obstagoon which is perfectly fine by me because i am doing quite a bit of neutral damage here with wing attack and dragon claw and it does land so perfect we can farm down let's see what that final pokemon is it's gonna be i think it's aurorus which is actually really good for us right here because Charizard is going to put a lot of pressure with Blast Burn. And now we are doing super effective damage with Credilly with Grass Knot. Now, obviously, their Weather Balls and Powder Snow is doing super effective damage back to us. But we have 2 to 1 shields. And a Grass Knot should basically be able to one-shot by the time I do enough fast move damage to have two charge moves ready to go. So we're just going to go ahead and double shield right here. And then look to go for the double Grass Knot to close this game out. So that is going to be... a good Good game, very well played. Again, the goat comes in so clutch. I love when I land those fire blasts because most people don't suspect fire spin and fire blast. They just assume fire spin, shadow bone, or shadow ball with bone club. Boom, down goes the Auroras. All right, moving to the next one, we got Credilly versus Meganium. Another tough lead right here, but I'm fine to come in later on, so I'm going to go ahead and come in with that Alolan Marowak now. Now, they swap into Lantern, which is actually really good for us because this is exactly what the Goat is meant to draw out. It's meant to draw out the Lanterns so that Charizard has a bit better um, endgame potential, right, if Lantern's the only really hard counter. And secondly, Credilly can come in and farm down as long as I get it low enough. So I'm going to go ahead and shield the first Surf, because I want to put this into one-to-one -one shields, um, because this Shadow Bone now is going to force them to shield. If they don't, I will take Switch Advantage, which I'm happy to have. So we do get a shield right there, and then now they're going to go ahead and throw the next Surf, which is fine by me. It's going to be a very close race. Surf does not one-shot us, so now it's a matter of can we get to the next Shadow Bone. This is a spark. No, we aren't able to make it, but that's okay. 
This is the perfect amount of health, one to one shields, lantern in the yellow, I am going to fully farm down with Credilly and Bullet Seed, that way I have 100 energy ready to go for Meganium and whatever other Pokemon they have in the back. Now, depending on how low this lantern gets me, I probably won't um, look to throw the charge move right away against Meganium, because I imagine a Vine Whip's going to take me out, possibly. No, we can't farm down, so they do get to another Surf. Again, calculating that this will not KO me. Let's see. Perfect. All right, we are able to survive and farm down like 3 HP in a Dream. We're going to go ahead and swap right away into Charizard, get ahead on Energy, and in comes a Mandibuzz. Flyer versus Flyer. And now we got to be very, very careful with how we time our Energy. I don't want to be... I, I, hopefully, I timed it well, but with Snarl... Yeah, we did a good one right there. With Snarl, you don't want them sneaking through fast moves because it, it's going to be very devastating right here for us because we land the Blast Burn, which now is going to allow us to throw Dragon Claws. Nope, they snuck through one right there. Unfortunately, mistimed it, but that's okay. I'm still putting a lot of pressure now with Dragon Claw. We should be able to get a shield, and we should be able to survive another Dark Pulse, which is really good. So all I honestly need to do is get to one... Um, Dragon Claw versus Meganium with the wing attack damage because Mandiba should go down right here. And then I need to fast swap into Credilly as quickly as possible to throw the Stone Edge. So we go one, two, we throw the Dragon Claw. This should now put Meganium within range for a Stone Edge to KO. So we're going to fast swap right away and throw the Stone Edge. And sure enough, that's exactly what we needed right there in order to win the game. So that is going to be a good battle, very well played. Meganium coming in clutch. Honestly, it's a really solid Pokemon for this meta. All right, we got Credilly versus Dubwool here on the lead. So kind of an interesting lead matchup, but I'm going to go ahead and just swap out right away into Alolan Marowak. I want to see if they stay in to see if there's a payback. And they decide to come in with Trevenant, which is a dangerous call to come in against the GOAT ahead on energy in a situation where we are both doing super effective damage to each other with fast moves, which means I'm going to get this Trevenant extremely low. Now, Dubwool does have access to Wild Charge, so I got to be very careful with how I use my shields here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put them into the zero shield situation. That way um, we can basically take them out. So we do get two shields. Perfectly fine. We get a defense drop as well. So I think I'm going to commit to the farm down. I'm going to go ahead and put up double shields. Stop the next seed bomb. We did get the defense drop, so it means, oh, not enough. But we do farm down anyways. Now, let's see what decides to come in. It's going to be the double, and they threw the energy right away. This is very, very, very good for us because the body slam, now there's not as much energy on double here. Um, we are going to be resisting the body slam and the wild charge. So this is actually a pretty good situation for us as Grass Knot, not going to be enough to take him out, but it's perfect amount for us to be able to farm down. Now, they're not swapping out, so my hope or my prayer is that it's not a Lantern in the back. Let's see what it's going to be. They go ahead and throw double charge moves. That's fine. I'm just going to commit to the farm down right here. It is going to be the Wild Charge, and then let's see what's going to be in the back. Please be something good. Oh, it's a Fire Flying. It's a Talon Flame. Yes, sir. We're going to go ahead and go for the Stone Edge right here. Boom. One shots it. And that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. All right. Moving next one. We got Credilly versus Vigoroth here on the lead. Another kind of yeah, so, somewhat neutral but somewhat tough matchup. I mean, granted, we would be taking super effective damage from counters, but they we're also resisting the charge moves. So, or not bulldoze, it's neutral. But you guys know what I mean. The better matchup here is going to be Alolan Marowak coming in, and I'm noticing that they're not swapping out. So my guess is they're very, very weak in the back to fire, which means the Charizard could potentially sweep right here. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Bone, anticipating them maybe wanting to shield, but they decided not to. And now they're going to go ahead and build up a lot of energy. And so I'm just going to go ahead and shield just in case it is a bulldoze. But it's just going to be another body slam. That's fine by me. We go ahead and farm down. Let's see what comes in. Lantern. Okay, that's that's really interesting. Um, granted, I thought, you know, if there's a lantern in the back, it should probably be coming into a Lolan Marowak right away. But that's okay. You know, everyone makes mistakes. It's totally fine. Lesson learned. So if you guys have a situation like you've seen before in this video where a Lolan Marowak swaps in, we see that lantern come into the matchup. Um, against me, that's what you guys need to do because you can win that matchup so long as you um, maintain those even shields, basically. But I decided to swap out alone the Marowak and come in with Credilly to farm down and the final Pokemon is going to be Toga Demaru. So that is definitely a tough situation for them. 
Granted, had they come in with Lantern, we would have probably farmed down. Um, and then it would have been Charizard versus Toga Demaro at the end. But I would have probably had a 2 to 1 shield situation um, or a 1 to 1 to 1 with energy advantage. Um, and we would have probably landed the Blast Burn. But it would have been a dangerously close game either way. But this is a situation where we're, we're totally fine. We're going to go ahead and let these go through. It was a Gyro Ball though. Okay, boom, takes me out. We're going to go ahead and come in with Alolan Marowak now as our fire spins are doing super effective damage. We're going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Bone as well, hopefully to apply that debuff and just get that final shield in case I need the Charizard to land a Dragon Claw. So now we swap out into Charizard to make them dump their energy because if it's a discharge, it'll one shot or wild charge, I should say. Yeah, it is. Boom! Down goes Charizard, but now fire spin is going to take it right there and that's going to be a good game. Very well played. So on paper... I don't think I technically should have won that game, but that's okay. You got to take your wins when you can get them. All right, we got Noctowl here on the lead. A Pokemon we really can't swap a Lolan Marowak straight into, but thankfully we do have Stone Edge. Now, we have to be very concerned about what they have in the back, obviously. If there's a Lantern back there, it's going to be a pretty close game. But with Stone Edge right here, we can put a lot of pressure. Um, plus, if I land it, this is now a situation, which I do, where Fire Spin can farm that down. So what I'm going to do here is just load up on energy, and I'm now going to swap out. Once they throw a Sky Attack, I'm swapping out right away into a Lolan Marowak. So we go ahead and swap out. They had the same idea, and they come in with the Lantern. We both got each other extremely low on health, and the play was to swap into another Pokemon to get ahead on energy based on what we're reading on their team. And they brought in, clearly, the better answer right here. So they're going to go ahead and look to go for the Surf. This is, this is a tough call for me. I'm going to go ahead and let this go. I feel like I need um, Credilly to get a shield from them, and then I need Charizard to try to sweep. I'll have to give up two shields against Lantern, but it's honestly my only play. So long as something that third Pokemon is something Charizard can beat, I think we have a chance. So we do get the shield. They will farm us down as predicted. And now Charizard needs to get to two Dragon Claws right here. We're going to have to shield both charge moves, but the Knockdown has a little bit of energy but it definitely doesn't have a sky attack loaded which means i should be able to throw this dragon claw now if they let this go it it's going to be a very very close end game if they shield no they let it go okay so we have an opportunity now it's a frost last in the back uh oh okay now we have to get the bait right here so we're going to be forced to shield and obviously we're going to have to land a blast burn before they can get to another avalanche so the call right here is I'm going to go ahead and go for the Dragon Claw, hoping to get a Shield Bait from them. Let's see if we can pull it off. We get the Shield. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and overload just a bit, go for the Blast Burn. Granted, maybe I should have just thrown it right away, but that's okay. We get the Blast Burn. Boom! Down goes the Frost Last. Now there's Knocked Out and Lantern left. Knocked Out is extremely low, and we can get to Dragon Claw before they can get to Sky Attack. So we get it with one HP in a dream. And now, remember, Lantern has one health. So it's Water Gun versus Wing Attack right here. Let's see who wins. Oh, it's the Lantern takes it right there. Really, really close battle. Good game, all right. We got Stunfisk now on the lead. Very positive for us, and that thing is absolutely deadly against our back line. So we're going to go ahead. They swap into uh, Obstagoon. We come straight in with Charizard right here. It's definitely the better answer. Obviously, Alolan Marowak is not the best because of the typing matchups and the moves that Obstagoon has. But in this situation, we want to be building up a ton of energy and then just start Dragon Claw spamming because I'm going to start shielding Night Slashes now. But I will outpace them to the Night Slash. Um, it's five um, counters to get there, and we can get to the Dragon Claw just before that. So we're going to go ahead and shield this next Night Slash, start loading up on energy, and let's see if we can get another one here. If we get a second shield, this is going to look very, very good for us because um, then we have a, a no shields for uh, Obstagoon, or not Obstagoon, for um, Alolan Marowak, sorry, and uh, Credilly. So we are able to get to the Blast Burn there, take out the Obstagoon. So perfectly timed, we have barely any HP left, which means they won't get a lot from farming us down. And now, this is a, this is an interesting call. I'm going to come in with Alolan Marowak here. Yes, Credilly beats Pelipper. Yes, Credilly beats um, the Stunfisk. But I want to make sure the energy is dumped here onto Alolan Marowak. And I'm going to go ahead and go for a Shadow Bone now. I'm going to force them to swap out. 
um, or force them to just soak the charge move. And this is fine by me. Pelipper doesn't have that much energy, and now I can safely come into Credilly and Stun Fisk, and this is a good game. They don't have any charge moves that can really threaten me, so I can safely build up to two charge moves and close this game out. So discharge, yeah, it doesn't doesn't do any. It just we're good. We are good. Yeah, they decide to surrender right there. And that is going to be a good game. That was the final one. First battles here in the Holiday Cup for the Great League. And honestly, I really enjoy this meta. I think Charizard, you guys are going to see it a lot more often. It's very good. But Lolan Marowak put in work today. Got a couple Fire Blasts. And Credilly, I think, is the Pokemon you guys should really look to meld into a lot of your teams. Because it's so versatile against this meta. You have Stone Edge for the Fires, for the Ice, for the Flyers. You got Grass Knot for the Waters. It's really, really good. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.